Hello. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be doing this. This is a Kirby. All those times people have said, get a Kirby, get a Kirby. No, please will you get a Kirby? I'd like to see a Kirby. Well, some people have said, please. Not many. Many have just said, get a Kirby. Well, folks, here it is inside this big box. I don't think they've even taken the handle off the fools. Obviously the handle comes off on a Kirby and it would have probably gone in a much smaller box. But this box will come in handy if I have a heart attack and need to be disposed of quickly. I can just, well, I can just be thrown in this box when the curb is removed and then put, dumped somewhere. But anyway, it's big enough for me to be buried in. It is a big one. <sighs> Shall we start the process of opening it up and discovering my very first Kirby vacuum? Shall we? Or shall I just not bother? Hmm? You want to see me unbox it? Oh. Shall I? Yeah? Okay then. For all you people who've nagged me for the Kirby, here it is, my first ever Kirby video. Right, oh that's good, you can't see my head. Right. Th this is an absolutely ridiculous box, isn't it? Right, let's, um, let's see what this Kirby's about. Now, what is it? It's a Kirby. I'm not telling you what it is, actually. I'm not going to put in the title. It's just going to be a Kirby. I know what it is, and you will in a few moments. And I didn't really pick, I don't really like the early, early, well I don't really care for any Kirby's to be honest, but I don't really like the look of the earlier Kirby's. So this is a later Kirby, later it, well it's, I think it's from the 90s anyway. Oh heck, this is going to take me a long time. Perhaps you ought to go to the lavatory now. I'm doing this in front of my window and the blinds are not closed and there's a neighbour being a nosy so-and-so and, -so, and um, apparently they can see when I've got my lights on, I've got lots of big lights on. So I'm going to be silhouetted in my living room to, for the whole neighbourhood to see. Oh no, this is going to be a messy one folks. Oh heck. What? Um, it's, oh it's upside down. <laughs> I've opened it. But it's got, look, you know, it's got this, look, arrows up. So one would assume, wouldn't one, that you'd open it at the top. But it looks like Kirby's on its head. La da da. What do you think Kirby, oh my god. It's going to be, oh it's a right mess. It's going to need a lot of cleaning. Look folks. Ugh. Can you see? There's the bottom of my very first Kirby. It's a G7E. That brush roll looks reasonable. They're quite stiff. Wooden brush. But it's... Right, what am I going to do? Do you think I should just... Well, I don't know. I'm going to lay it down. Lay me down and pull it out. <laughs> oh, wait. Right folks, let me just readjust myself. What a mess. What a mess there is here. Right then. Ah, I'm going to have to pull out this beast. Oh, oh heck. Oh, didn't like the sound of that. I think I just pulled on the wheels. Oh, oh God. Anyone want any of these? Oh, eck. Right. <laughs> I don't think they needed so much packaging. I'm sure it would have survived. Here's the Kirby shampoo system. I bought some shampoo, got some today. Where is it? Oh, it's miles away. I'm not going to bother getting it, but I will be showing you the shampoo. I don't know if that's been, that works. Oh, I don't believe it. Is somebody having a giraffe with me? <laughs> Put it in there as well! <sighs> well, if any, any of you have got a fetish for this, you'll be in your element, won't you? Look at this, I could have a bath in it. <sighs> oh my. Look. <laughs> oh dear. There's, I think they call it a zip brush, do they? I don't know. It's one of those rotating thingies. You see? I mean, look at that. I'll say this. You know, Dyson say, oh, they invent everything. Dyson are the first. 
with their tangle-free turbine. Well, look at that. That looks very like, although the Dyson has two, of course, but that looks very similar, doesn't it? I wonder where Dyson got the idea for their tangle-free turbine. Perhaps somebody owned a Kirby. Anyway, so that's the old zip brush. Needs a bit of a clean-up. Oh, look at that mess. I need, to take some, I need to take a photo of this, actually, quickly. Sorry about this, folks. Let's take a quick photo for, for my followers on Facebook and the um, Twitter thing, whatever. Instagram I'm on. Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, you'll find me. Oh, I hate this thing. I just want to take a photo. I don't want to, here we go. Oh, the horror. There we are, folks. Right. <laughs> you'll, you'll see that photo before you see this video. Right, hang on then. Right, so there is, that's a bit discoloured, isn't it? Don't know, I'll get that off if I can. So there's a tube, branded Kirby, Kirby. Kirby is a place in Liverpool. Is it spelt like that, Kirby, in Liverpool, is it? Anyway, there is, there's the zip brush and an extension wand. Oh, way through all this. Ugh. Right, I've been doing a little bit of research, so I know that that thing is to fit over the fan when you're using it in blow mode. Oh, right. oh it's a monstrosity. Here's the hose. Again, branded. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Kirby. Kirby. Yes, seems quite quite a good quality hose and quite a nice length to it. Again, I think that's, I don't know if that is, dis, I think that's discoloured, isn't it? I thought it was a bit discoloured, actually, I think the, it's the, yes, it's the mains cable. I'm sure it's gone a bit green. But it looks intact, it doesn't look broken, so obviously that's the hose. Hmm. Oh. Now there should be some other bits and bobs in here, so. Yeah, I'm sh I don't know, I might get that colour back. Um, oh, it's not, it's not as heavy as I thought. Anyway, here it is. Oh, it is quite heavy. Look at that. And of course, it'll need a good polishing, a good buffing. It's a diamond edition. Right, I'm going to pop it. The bag looks pretty good, actually, um, clean-wise. So, oh, shall we? Let's just wade through, folks. There's, there's, there's more. Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, crikey. <laughs> oh dear, I probably have to edit that bit out. Is it? I've probably seen my stomach. <laughs> I've now. <laughs> Well, it'll be entertaining for you. <laughs> what am I going to do with all this? Right, here's a nozzle. <sighs> it's a shame there's no articulation to it. So that's just, uh, I don't know, is that for your walls and whatever? And um, things. Quite stiff though, quite stiff brushes. It's relatively clean, but I'll clean it up better than that. Here's the... Um, Gold. Here's uh, another nozzle with the little attachment piece. Your upholstery and stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. Here's the Credas Tour with a with a little packaging peanut. It's got its. I don't know where that's come from. And I think this bit comes off. Oh, oh. Ha! What? How on earth has that happened? Look, I was just pulling, I was just going to try and pull that off and look. And they say Kirby's are built to last. That's just happened. I know I can get another one of them, but that's not the point. Blimey. That's ludicrous. That, I don't know if that's been, no it doesn't, it doesn't, but the thing is, has it been glued? I don't know if that's been glued and I've just pulled it off. 
so to speak. That's probably what's happened anyway, I'm not bothered. As long as the main machine works, you can get all bits of the Kirby's on the interweb. They're not as plentiful, the bits, as you can get them in America, I don't think. Or as cheap, but I've seen brand new ones of that for about 12 quid. So, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it, folks? Never mind. One will not cry over a broken crevice tool. Here's the um, spray gun. It all needs, no all needs a good clean up, doesn't it? Um, so this is for spraying paint and things I think you can do, but it's also for spraying shampoo. When you attach that bit, I've seen some videos, comes out as a foam so you can spray your upholstery in your stairs and then rub it in, can't you? So all this will be tested, hopefully, if it all works. So that's the um, spray bottle. Oh, there is a spare belt. I have got a, a, a three new belts. That looks... Oh, it is a genuine Kirby. It's Kirby genuine, so it feels a bit... I don't know, it feels a bit not very pliable somehow. I don't know if that's going to snap. I'll try it. But I have bought some bags, belts, a headlight, and some Kirby shampoo. And we'll see what else I need to buy, as and when. Right. Yeah, that's the container to put bits in. <coughs> right. Do you think that's it? I can't remember what was in the listing. Oh no, what's this? There's something else. Ah yes. Good. That, I didn't know what that was in the picture. I thought, what the heck's that? And then I've found out it's the handle to use Kirby as a handheld cleaner. <laughs> For your stairs and your mattresses, etc. Yeah, well, we'll give it a go, but I think it's going to be a bit, oh, a bit awkward. Never mind. Right. Is, this, is there anything else? Oh, hang on, there is. There's more. It's like a lucky bit. Here's your inflator nozzle, but apparently it can also be used for cleaning little nooks like your keyboards and things. There we are. I might try inflating something with that. I've got an airbed. Might be fun to see me inflate an airbed. Would you like to see me do that? Comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see me do with this Kirby. And nothing rude, folks. And I'm only going to do things that are recommended by Kirby. Well, that's quite a big soft brush, isn't it? Dirty, dirty. But I'm sure a little bit of a clean. But it's lovely and soft. And uh, pliable, too. Flexible. So that's the dusting brush. Oh, oh, it's more, it's more. Oh, well here's the handle. I want to make this complete, as complete as I can, so I have actually ordered a new in the box, apparently, sanding slash massaging attachment. Um, so that'll be fun to try out. So that's the handle. And this, oh yes, of course. This, <laughs> as if you would. That's for massaging your scalp. Will it stimulate hair growth? Well, we'll try that out. We'll see if I can get my hair back by massaging that using the Kirby. That'll be fun to try. Well, it could be used in other areas of the body, I suppose, if you want to. But uh, it's probably not recommended in the instruction. And there's your little suction relief doobry. Right, is there anything else? I'm going in one more time, folks. <sighs> Blimey. Blimey. I think that's everything. Right, I'm going to use the Kirby now because everyone says it's so good. I'll use the Kirby to pick all this up, shall I? Yeah, it'll be fine. I think that's it. Hang on a minute. Just make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's empty. Hello. Crikey. That is... That is, that's probably the biggest box I've ever had delivered. Wow, that is a huge one. Hello. Right. <sighs> right, folks. Do you know what I'm going to have to do? Guess. Well. <laughs> Once I've made sure there's nothing else hidden in this packaging, 
we'll have a closer look at Kirby itself. And I might, just, just for fun, well I'll turn it on and everything, but I might just get me polish out and just see, if, just do a little test piece and see if I can get the chrome shining, or the aluminium, should I say. Right then folks, I'm just going to pause and then get rid of all this. Well folks, if I never ever see one of these polystyrene peanuts again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> the box is nearly full of them, that huge box. Anyway, any of you who are going to buy any of my vacuum cleaners that I sell, you might see these again, because I'm getting rid of them. Right, it's all out of the box. Now, there is an issue possibly with the machine itself. I'm not sure, because I'm not obviously... This is the first Kirby I've ever handled. I've ever even... In fact, I think it's the, the first Kirby I've even seen in real life. You know... Obviously, it needs a polish, but looking at it, looking beyond the tarnishing, it seems pretty good. The bumper seems okay, there's no deep marks or scratches, so polishing up that will hopefully... Oh, what's that? Oh, there's some creepy, creepy thing in there. So anyway, let's have a closer look. Now, we've seen the tools as I unbox them, so we don't no, no need to show you those. I've, um, I had a look at this, I think everything is there. It might have been used once, maybe not at all. It's, it's got the telltale signs of spider poo. I believe that's what that is. Um, little brown marks. I think that's spider poo poo. So, but looking at that, I don't think it's been used. So I think it's got all the bits. It'll all clean up hot soapy water. And as I said, I did buy myself some curvy shampoo because I wanted to try it out. So let me show you what I got. I got delivered today as well because I knew this cleaner was coming. So I ordered some of the proper Kirby dry foam lavender smelling shampoo. I also ordered, because I didn't know what the belt would be like, I ordered a pack of, I think three, there's three genuine Kirby belts. And with the genuine Kirby belts, there was also a uh, bulb. I don't think it's a genuine bulb, but it's uh, it will fit apparently. And these bags look quite expensive, but they're the genuine Kirby Micron Magic HEPA filtration bags. I'm hoping they're the correct ones. They were about twenty-one pounds, but you get nine in, and they're that funny colour look. So, so everything I think is how it should be according to the listing. As I said, just a bit disappointed with breaking the. Crevice tool. Right, let's uh, focus on the Kirby itself. So, this is, I believe, a Kirby Ultimate G series, Diamond Edition. Um, there is a number. I've seen people on on the YouTube reading out numbers, so I'll read this number out for you, and I'm sure you Kirby fans will be able to tell me what that number means, whether it dates it. Anyway, it's eight o five o five nine. 6145. This is, what do they call this? A mini emptor. I think you turn, let me just take the, the bag off by pushing that. I have, as I said, I've been watching a few Kirby videos, watched some of Mr. Rusty's. Obviously, there were no use, no ornament, his videos, blimey. <laughs> but they're entertaining. No, Kirby is, Kirby likes Kirby. <laughs> Rusty likes the Kirby's, but he's not um, very knowledgeable. Probably more knowledgeable than I am, but, you know, with experience comes knowledge. Oh, it is. It's a snail. Oh, well, it was. It was a snail once upon a time, but now it's just a, a very transparent little shell. Um, well, that looks clean enough, the opening. I will probably wash this bag. I might do it in the washing machine on a gentle, gentle... It looks pretty clean, though, but on a gentle cycle. I quite like the design of this. You see, this sort of design of Kirby's, I didn't mind the look of. It's the ones earlier than this. So I think it's the G3 onwards are OK, because I think the G4 certainly looks a bit like this. I wouldn't mind a Centria. Oh, of course, I'd like one of the um, Avalier, is it? I'd like a brand new one of those, but I'm um, no way I'm going to buy one. Right, 
it's been fitted. That looks tiny compared to the um, the bags. That's obviously not genuine. I'm going to put a genuine one in. I've got nine. I'm never going to need nine bags. Ha, no way. I can't see. To be honest, folks, I know I've not even switched her on, but I can't see me using this on a daily or regular basis. I'm hoping that this is the correct fitting. Now, I've seen some videos where you rotate. I think this is a rotatey one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it looks, it looks similar. That's just a nasty, cheapo imitation. You can get plenty of imitation bags, but I thought to, to do it justice, I better get proper bags. So there's the bit, that, that rather obscene looking pipe. Yeah, it will benefit from a wash. And there are videos on YouTube showing you how to wash a Kirby bag. I've seen them. That seems okay. So let's pop on a genuine Kirby bag. I have to open it out a bit. Made in China, these bags, but with American materials, it says. I know you have to sort of, you just locate them. There's two little lips or lugs. You'll all know this. You Kirby fans will know what's what, won't you? This is all brand, brand spanking new to me. Right, that's, that's on. I need to twist it round. That's it, I think. I think that's on, folks. Suck it in. I'm hoping that the tech drive, or as I would call it, power drive, works. Because if it doesn't, I've no idea how to fix it, although I'm sure there are videos on YouTube how to fix the Kirby tech drive. But um, let's hope it just needs a clean and a polish, because that's really all my knowledge on Kirby's. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who will help me out, though. Right, let's pop this back. It is, yeah, it does feel solid, I have to admit. Oh, is that, hmm, oh no, I think that's okay. Pop that up there until it clicks, you can't see what I've done. Right, now, it's a bit, I've already had a look under the hood and I had to take the front off because it had so many uh, polystyrene peanuts in it. So I've seen plenty of these, but when you turn the belt lifter off, uh, it does sort of go, sort of quite a horrible noise because there's lots of gritty bits in it, which way? That way, anti-clockwise, until it shows there. Then you can take the, the front off, can't you? So, looking at the brush roll, I have seen genuine Kirby brush roll on Amazon, shipped from the USA for £30, I think. But I th may be okay with that one, it looks... It looks okay. It's obviously dirty, but there's nothing that a good clean and polish won't fix. Now, what I'm a bit concerned with, I don't know if it should have, but when I opened this up initially, there was a load of tape wrapped around the end here, and there's no sort of stopper. I thought there might be a bit at the end to stop the belt slipping off. Possibly not, I don't know. So I'm wondering if the tape has just got wrapped around during cleaning, or it's been put on there to keep the belt from slipping off. I hope not. I know you can get new fans and spindles. Um, looking at the fan, it seems, just from what I can see of it, it seems uh, intact. Plastic fan, but it seems quite strong. There is a date wheel here. It says 05... Uh, is this 95 then? It says 305. Is three the month? I think it is. I think 05. I think this could be 1995. I can see I can see the headlamp in there. If it doesn't work, it's okay because I do have one. So the belt lifter has worked. It's lifted lifted the belt off, hasn't it? Right, now let's put this back. I wasn't sure how to do it, to be honest, but I think I didn't see my got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, I think. I think that's it. Turn that round with to the belt on position. Pop that down. That's all right. Let's have a look at the back. So, 
apparently this is the, I don't know if it's the only Kirby, but I think it is the only Kirby that came with a two-speed motor. So you've got half speed there and full speed. I read somewhere that a lot of these failed because people were using them in the half speed mode and they're not designed to be used like that all the time. Um, and I think, I think, yeah, I think the case, I'm not sure if the light goes on when it's in half speed to remind you it's in half speed and when you put it into normal speed the light turns off and that may be the case. So anyway, I, I looked at that and uh, thought, yes, well, I'll make sure I don't ruin the motor. It's got the on off there and the neutral and drive. So I have to start it off in neutral, I think. And then this, of course, is the bit you adjust for your height. And I've, read, I've seen where you have to switch the machine on, press that until you hear a change in tone of the motor, so you know the brushes are touching the carpet, and then you press it once more, and then that should be at the correct height. Um, I think the cable has discoloured. I noticed that in the video, not the video, the picture. The cable seems okay, but it's uh, it's got an awful greeny colour, and I'm sure that should be grey to match the plug, shouldn't it? So that is something I would possibly replace. I don't think that green colour is going to come off. I think that's there for, for the duration now. Right, folks. Um, it's got a new bag in. The belt seems OK. Right. Time to switch her on. Now, it's been pat tested, according to the sticker. So I'm going to risk it. Um, right, it's, it's up on its highest setting. Um, I've got it in new now. Do I put it in drive first or drive after? Oh heck, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> what I best do, I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it in drive before you turn it on or put it in drive after you've turned it on. I don't want to damage anything. So if you excuse me, I'll just pause and check the uh, interweb. Okay, I've checked an official Kirby video and I think I've, I've put drive after. So it's in neutral. So I need to turn it on first, it's on full power, and then adjust the, uh, the head to the correct height. Right. Right, okay. Oh, mm. not as noisy as I thought. Oh, that's a beast. Right. I've got it at the right height, I think. Certainly got a bit of a bit of a ooh, bit of a roar. Right, I'm going to try it without tech drive first. see the little light illuminating to show the brush is rotating. Yeah, it's a beast. But I wasn't, I didn't have tech drive. You surely, you know what you're doing when you, crikey. It's not one you can whip around your house quickly with, is it? Right, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to engage tech drive now. <laughs> tech drive does work because it's very easy to push but it's not you see I'm used to a vacuum with a swivel head nowadays I'm used to a lighter vacuum that you can just go do the hoover maneuver type thing well I could try and make a, a Kirby maneuver video on the same vein as the hoover maneuver one but hmm, I don't know I think I might do myself a mischief let's have another go <laughs> going to work. Oh, hitch me trousers up. Well, hang on a minute. You know what, folks? I think this is pretty good. <gasps> All those years of refusing to get a Kirby as a principle, I thought, I'm not going to be nagged. I'm not going to let my people nag me. How do they? 
But you know what? I don't mind it. I mean, it's going to look better when I've polished it. And, you know, I'm going to have another go. Folks, one of the things that's put me off buying a Kirby, apart from the incessant nagging, and that's no way, folks, if you're watching, if you want me to review a vacuum, constant nagging won't do it. Of, of, yes, it did work in this case, but it did take several years. But on the whole, nagging me doesn't work. Anyway, one other thing, apart from the constant nagging that put me off buying a Kirby, is I've seen videos where people dismantle them and have to polish them up using buffing machines or, or these um, bench mount mounted polishers and have to take all the bits off and, and I'm thinking, oh, who's got time for that? And I thought, well, that's put me off because every Kirby I've seen has normally been quite tarnished. So I'm just going to try. This is pretty good polish. don't know if you can get it in America. It's called Peak. I got it from, of course, Amazon, where else? But I'm going to give a little bit of a go with this peak polish. It's an odd colour, look, blue. It's blue as my eyes, even though I've got brown eyes. Ooh. Oh, God, crikey, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, do not inhale directly, death could occur. Right, do not sniff, folks. It says not suitable for anodized metals and lacquered surfaces. Peak cleans, polishes and protects the following. Brass, copper, stainless steel, silver, aluminium, good, chrome and bronze. Excellent for fiberglass, ceramic hobs and painted surfaces. Antioxidant peak. Keep out of the reach of children, don't inhale, blah blah. Right. Apply peak sparingly, do not let dry, rub briskly with a damp, dry or damp cloth. Oh, right, let's just do a little bit. I've got two cleanish cloths which is the cleanest. I think that one. I'll use that for the buff and that for the applying. Right, I'm just going to do this bit here. So, let's apply the peak polish. Oh, heck. Oh. <laughs> I might have to get a thingy because it's got... I don't know if it's going to get these marks off. I might have to... I'm not going to get one of the... Um, it might just need a bit more elbow grease. Oh, that's it. If I did get anything to polish thing up with, it'll be one of those, you know, oh, well, look. It'll be one of those, um, not, a di uh, not a not a worktop mounted thing. It'll be one of those electric handhelds. Perhaps Rusty, if you're watching Rust, I think Rusty will watch this because he, he's interested in the Kirby's. Do you recommend anything, Rusty? A handheld... Oh, I can see now that there is... There is a scratch. Do you recommend, Rust, a... Um, something that would be... Take the hard work out of this? Right, I'm just going to... Oh, heck. Well, I'm going to develop good biceps anyway. I'll have to swap arms, otherwise I'm going to have... One right bicep that's bulging and one weedy left one. Right. Wow, look at that, though. I'm going to use the same cloth to buff. Right, now I can see why people take them apart. <laughs> because, although it is... <sighs> oh, it is a bit of improvement. It's not... It feels lovely and smooth. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some mechanical help with that. Right, I'll just try... Just do another, another bit. We'll just do um, this bit here, look. Oh! Crack, I've never... Oh, I have, I have cleaned odd, odd bits of vacuum sparingly. I've put too much there. I was going to say this the first time I've... Well, it's the first time I've applied metal polish, I think, in a video. Yeah, I'm going to need something. Some buffing tool. So, if you live in the UK, please comment on where I can get one. You see... There might be some good ones in America, of course, but I need to know where to get something that's available in this country from Amazon or somewhere, or tool station or wherever. Oh, you see, now I'm polishing it, it's revealing a few imperfections. Oh, crikey, that is difficult. It is tough. 
Yeah, I'm going to need to get something. So, no, that's going to take me... But look at that. Look at the state of that, folks. You'd think they'd make it so it doesn't go like that, though, surely. So, yeah, it's going to be um, <laughs> a slight improvement. Just before I finish this segment of polishing, I'll just, just try the um, top of it again, a little bit more polish, probably put too much on. Let's go for a little bit more of a, a rub-a-dub-dub. I'm going to have to put my back into it. <coughs> yeah, I'm really going to need something with high, R high RPM, aren't I, to really buff this up. I thought this polish, this polish is good. It's one of the highest rated polishes, I think, on Amazon. That's why I bought it. But, oh, heck, that hurts. But look, look more's coming off. Well, you see, that's, even, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. But it's not, not how I want it. It's not as shiny perfect as it could be. But that is certainly, that's certainly an improvement, as you can see, over what it looked like. And it feels nice and smooth, but it's not, not up to my standard. I want that gleaming. Well, folks, there you have it. My very, very first Kirby. The very, very first Kirby I've even seen in real life, let alone used. And I was put off by getting a Kirby for several reasons. A lot of people said... Oh, they're heavy, they're noisy, they're awkward to convert to hose and blah, blah, blah. And I just took their word for it because they were in the vacuum collecting community. But until you've used one yourself, you can't really judge. So that's why I don't take any heed to people who comment on my videos saying, oh, this is better, blah, blah, blah. And they don't even own the particular vacuum I might be demonstrating. They just say, this is better. But now... I can actually speak with a little bit of authority on a Kirby vacuum because I've now got one. And you know what? I might be getting some more. <sighs> I didn't think it would turn out like this. To be honest, I thought everything that people have said negatively about the Kirby will come true. Yes, it, all right, it's heavy. It's quite old-fashioned. And it's not a workout to push. It is easy to push with the tech drive. Uh, but it's not as noisy as I expected it to be. It's actually not quite as heavy as I expected it to be. It is solid. It certainly seems to um, clean well. I mean, I haven't put any dirt down. I will be doing that. But, you know, I don't think there's going to be anything in the bag. I've, I've recently really cleaned this carpet well. Well, should we have a look? Just to see. I don't think there will be. But if there's anything in this bag, it will be SIBO Duo Powder. Because I've just today used um, my duo P over this area, my SIBO machine, but I went, I picked all the dirt up with a quadruple A Hoover. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to see anything in here because I'm not cutting a bag open um, to show. I'm just going to see if I can, it's a bit awkward getting the bag off, to be honest. Can't see where I'm supposed to be turning it. Oh, there we are. That's it. Oh, the, um, the seal is getting in the way. So, yeah, I've been quite surprised by this. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I had, obviously I had, um, oh, it's hard to see. There is, I can't really show you in there because any dirt, any dirt that's got in, there's not going to be much. There is, there is some. Let me have a look. Try and, there's a bit of hair, not much. Now, to be honest, there isn't, a great deal in there. There is some dirt though. But anyway, um, this will benefit. I think the motor, from what I know of Kirby, sounds quite good. I don't think there's any issues with the motor. The tech drive works. Um, I might pop a new belt on, although it did seem to be agitating. The, I could hear the brush roller going round. But anyway, obviously this is just my first look at a Kirby. But there will be more videos, obviously. I'll be doing videos with the tools. I'll be doing a video showing the shampoo system, both the handheld shampooer and the main shampooer. Uh, I'll be doing a video using the sanding attachment when that arrives. And that is specifically for the G series. And it's in the same grey 
and I think it's unused on eBay. I think it was I got it for £25 delivered. I offered them a bit less than they wanted. The headlight works, so I don't need to put a new headlight. Well, that's it folks. I hope that satisfies the Kirby fans for now. I will be doing more Kirby videos and hopefully when you see this girl again I'll have managed to have got something. I say I could possibly do that again and maybe get it off but I haven't got the time. I just want something small that I can buff this up without having to dismantle the whole thing. So any suggestions for a, a good buffer please comment below if you have anything you'd like to see me do with Kirby. Clean with Kirby and I mean anything clean I don't want to be doing any naughty stuff you know what I mean some of you folks but <laughs> yeah well what a pleasant surprise so thanks for watching thumb up if you like Kirby's and uh, there'll be more any suggestions and any advice you've got any of you who know a lot more about Kirby's than I do which is most of you please comment below and um, We'll see what I can do. Great, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.